Hello and happy Monday and we are going to be doing a series on how to survive the holidays. <laughs> so uh, one of the big issues that comes up at the holidays are people bringing up topics or conversations that are triggering, right? So a lot of times you may have a great game plan for your eating, but then somebody says something or brings up a topic that causes a heated discussion. And before you know it, you're mindlessly munching in the kitchen. And it's because we lack sometimes boundaries with our family. And so this weekend we were at a birthday party and somebody turned to me and said, Hey, Heather, who are you voting for? And I real quick turned to them and said, do you mean politically? And they said, yes. And I said, Oh, I don't discuss politics boom. And my husband actually laughed when he heard me say that because I have very distinct boundaries. There are certain topics I do not discuss because there's no point. I'm not going to convince you. You're not going to convince me. And if you and I agree and there's somebody two seats over that doesn't agree, now it's kind of like we're trying to convince them. I'm not getting into all that. And I recommend you not either, but you need to have a very clear protocol for yourself. There's things you just don't discuss in mixed company. There used to be a saying, I don't discuss politics, religion, or wrestling. Because when I was growing up, wrestling was the big thing and everybody was arguing, is it real, is it not real? So you just didn't discuss it because it caused arguments. But you kind of need that for yourself. What is it you refuse to discuss? Maybe it's parenting styles. Maybe it is religion and politics. Maybe it's you make a rule, you don't talk about anybody who is not present. So if you have one of those family members that loves to gossip and she wants to start in with you or he wants to start in with you, you just simply say, you know, look, I just kind of have a rule for myself. I don't discuss things where, about people that are not physically present. You can make those boundaries and then let the person know. And notice I didn't criticize them. I didn't say, how dare you ask me about my political beliefs? And da -da. I didn't get into any of that. It's none of their business. What you do in the privacy of your home, the way that you feel about certain things is private to you. And unfortunately, we live in a time where social media is such that I think people feel they have to share all this stuff. And you don't. You have a right to have boundaries with your beliefs of different topics and different conversation starters. So I would go ahead and make up a list of what you're not willing to discuss and make sure you can adhere to that during the holidays and do what I did. Just say, I'm sorry, I don't discuss that. Now, I'm going to ask you for a favor. I want to do a video for you every day this week, a way to help prepare you for the holidays. But Facebook has made it to where a lot of pages are not getting traffic. So my videos are getting just a few likes and things like that. And I would really like to see if we can get these out there for other people to help them with the holidays. Would you mind sharing this or maybe sharing it with a friend who you know has some issues around holidays and stress and family. And that way we can get it out for more people because again, they're just, they're making it very difficult for videos and for posts to get out unless you're paying for advertisement. All right, guys, you have a wonderful week and I will be back tomorrow with another tip on how to survive the holidays. Bye.